hi and welcome back to my channel today is the first book haul of the year before we begin this video please subscribe like and comment down below it really helps me out so without much further ado let's get into the video one two three let's go so to start off this little book haul we have a quick reads book and it's The Great Cornish Getaway by Fan Britain. I love a good quick read for multiple reasons. Uh, for one, they are very quick reads, literally. The text, are, the text is quite large. Uh, it's not a lot of pages. In this one, it's... Oh, let's see how many pages. It's 118 pages in this particular book. It's, I mean, that's like an hour's read. <laughs> Secondly, they usually cost about a pound. As the sun sits high in the sky over Cornwall, and the sea breeze brings a welcome relief to the residents of the seaside village of Tre Treve? 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 A stranger arrives in need of a safe haven. The fact that the stranger is a Hollywood heartthrob makes villagers Penny and Dory even more keen to help. They both know what it's like to feel like you need a break from life and they bring the village together to keep the stranger's secret. It's not long before he's helping some of the villagers find the answers to their own problems. In return, they find a place for him in their hearts. <laughs> so that sounds quite sweet. I'm pretty sure I've read another Quick Reads by Fern Britain. Let's see what she has. Oh yeah, The Beach Cabin. I'm pretty sure that's the one. Uh, and I'm quite positive I quite like that one. So, yeah, a little quick read. <laughs> Who doesn't love a book that's easy and quick to read? And if it's enjoyable as well, thumbs up. So next up I have a couple of page tune books, uh, they are not in a series so let's just take them one by one, I'm pretty sure they're not in a series, anyway. So first up we have Lucy in the Sky, it's been nine years since Lucy left Australia, nine years since she's seen her best friend Molly and Sam the one time love of her life. Now her two friends are getting married to each other and Lucy is on her way to Sydney for their wedding. Life for Lucy has moved on. She's happily settled with James, her gorgeous lawyer boyfriend with a flat in London and her glamorous job in PR. Surely there's no reason to expect this two week holiday in the sun would be anything out of the ordinary. But just before takeoff, Lucy receives a text from James's mobile. She can't resist taking a look. And in the push of a button, her world comes crashing down. And next up we have Chasing Daisy. Daisy Rogers is in love, and that's no good thing. It's not just that her very famous ex is neither out of sight nor out of mind, but that the man of her dreams, William Trust, has a girlfriend. A childhood sweetheart, no less. And as a Formula One racing driver, he puts his life at risk every day he goes to work. From Melbourne to Monte Carlo and Sao Paulo to Singapore, Daisy and her best friend Holly travel the world as hospitality girls on the Grand Prix scene. But with more secrets between them than Paris Hilton has shoes, life promises to be nothing short of a whirlwind. And we have pictures of Lily. <laughs> Ten years ago, when Lily was just 16, she fell in love with someone she really shouldn't have fallen in love with. Now living in Sydney and engaged to another man, she can't forget the one that got away. Then her past comes back to haunt her and she has to make a decision that will break her heart and the heart of at least one of the men who love her. <laughs> and the last book for now uh, is The Longest Holiday. Laura has been married to the man of her dreams for seven months. But now she discovers a terrible secret. A week before their wedding, Matthew made a life-changing mistake. Escaping the heartache and humiliation, Laura is whisked off to Flora's Key West by her friends Marty and Bridget. A carefree holiday full of cocktails and fun, surrounded by gorgeous tan men, is exactly what the doctor ordered. 
and suddenly a distraction arrives in the form of sexy Cuban scuba diver Leo. As the end of the holiday approaches, Laura doesn't want to go home. Is it time to face reality or is there more to Key West than a holiday romance? So I'm very excited to be filling out my page tune collection. So that's four more books for that one. Next up we have Two Can Keep a Secret by Karen M. McManus. It's sprayed edges. We love a bit of sprayed edges, don't we? So this is the same author as One of Us is Lying. And I think it's about the same kind of book. Um, let's see. Echo Ridge is reeling. This picturesque town nestled near the Canadian border experienced its first tragic loss in 1995 when high school senior Sarah Corcoran vanished while walking home from the library. Then five years ago, homecoming queen Lacey Kilduff was found dead in the aptly named Murderland Halloween Park. Now the killer claims to be back. A small town that keeps losing its homecoming queens. Two murders still unsolved. And these three books is part of a larger series in which I have one book and neither of the books I have here or the one I have previously is actually the first book so I can't be reading these yet but it's from the it's from the Hope Meadows series by Lucy Daniels so Lucy Daniels is the collective name for the writing team that created the best-selling children's series Animal Arc. So these supposedly follow the same kind of characters only you know for adults. So well, I don't know. Um but anyway, the ones I got today are uh Christmas at Silverdale. Snowflakes Over Moon Cottage and Christmas at Mistletoe Cottage. Uh, now, since I don't actually have the first book, I am not going to read the blurbs of these. Uh, but whenever I have the full complete series, I'll like do a run through of them. Moving on. So last but not least, and actually the ones I might be most excited to read, are the Daughters of Smoke and Bone series by Lainey Taylor. Uh, so we have uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight, and Dreams of Gods and Monsters. Now, I'm not quite sure about these covers yet. I mean they're fine but I'm not sure if I prefer these over the ones you see around all the time so <laughs> it's quite a large series so let's read the blurb of the first one shall we around the world black handprints are appearing in doorways scorched there by winged strangers who have crept through a slit in the sky and in the tangled lanes of Prague, a young art student named Karu is about to be caught up in a brutal otherworldly war. When a stranger, beautiful haunted Akiva, fixes his fire-coloured eyes on her, the result is a star-crossed love whose roots drink deep of a violent past. I'm not sure that actually said anything of what it's actually about, but um, I don't know. I... The only thing I know about these books is that they're supposed to be very good but I've also heard like people say they're not that great. So we shall see but I am quite excited to read and I mean the print looks very easy to read so... So that's all for me today. Please comment down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to read any of these books. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I shall see you again next time. Take care. Bye.